we've been created by God to organize ourselves politically, socially, and in many other spheres of life so that we can have a fulfillment of life here on earth, that we can be happy as we live together. In other words, God has given us the privilege to be autonomous as we live together. And in being autonomous, God has given us, again, the privilege to rule ourselves, to lead ourselves. But to lead ourselves not according to our own plan, but according to the plan that he himself has given us. As we organize ourselves politically and socially, as we lead ourselves, all of us as citizens of the state have a responsibility towards the state. That's why Jesus says, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. That we have a responsibility to follow the rules that we give ourselves. We have a responsibility to pay taxes for the development of our state. We have a responsibility to organize ourselves in a way that brings about peace and harmony where we are living. But we do not just have that responsibility towards the state. We also have a responsibility towards God. And the two should not be mixed. Jesus does not mix the two. He says, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, but you should also give to God what belongs to God. That as we organize ourselves in this manner, we remember that we also have a, a duty to fulfill towards God. And that duty is one of worship, reverence, obedience in faith. We cannot do anything as human beings without involving God. We cannot even live in harmony, the, the harmony that we wish to have as we organize ourselves as society without involving God. And so, it is imperative for us to come before God, to kneel and worship Him, and that is justice to God. As we organize ourselves as a state, the state also, the other side, has a responsibility to fulfill towards its citizens. Yes, citizens pay taxes, citizens obey the laws, but the state also has a responsibility to create an environment where the citizens can fulfill their dreams, an environment where citizens can be happy, an environment of peace. As Caesar continues to rule, Caesar should not be too big to be advised. Caesar should not be too big to listen to the voices of the citizens. Caesar should not be too big to follow even the command of God as he rules. At the time of Jesus, Caesar was bigger than God. If you did not worship Caesar, then your fate was death. Caesar was God in himself. But Jesus is helping us to bring Caesar down to earth, to say Caesar cannot be bigger than God. Yes, we can be loyal to Caesar, but more loyalty should be paid to God because God is a higher power. And so both citizens and Caesar should bow to God because God remains a higher power. Justice to Caesar is important, but what is more important is justice to God, that we, we all submit to a higher power. Let us pray for ourselves that as we continue to reorganize and organize our society, politically, socially, and in many other ways, that we, we should all come down and submit to God. Because without involving God in the activities of our life, what we end up with is chaos. Amen.